News Channel 5's Chris Davis met up with the local business earlier today, and he joins us live with the Storm 5 Titan just outside of the stadium. Chris, they're really busy. Work comes after the Titans are hopefully victorious. That hopefully happens on Monday, Vicki. So signs now in Nashville, they're a local business. And during the regular season, they usually make commemorative game balls for the Titans. It usually goes to the best offensive or defensive player of the game. But in the playoffs, that changes just a little bit. Every single Titans member of the Titans organization gets a commemorative game ball if, or we should say when, the Titans win on Saturday, and let's just put it this way, that shop is more than willing to be busy on Monday if that happens. It's not uncommon at the end of a work week to find employees in an office looking forward to the weekend. It's a big thing. But it is unique when they're just as eager to get back to work on Monday. It's all hands on deck. We all grabbed the brush and grabbed, you know, things to paint and, and we just started applying paint. If the Titans are victorious, signs now Nashville will be laboriously at work. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to just to get everything lined up. Designing and printing custom made footballs. Yes, it's like fourth and goal, <laughs> yes. Yeah for every member of the Titans organization. Ryan Tannehill or A.J. Brown on down to the 53rd man on the roster. Um, everybody gets one. And just like the team itself, they have a winning game plan. First, they use a thermal printer older than most Titans players. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Then Neil uses transfer tape to methodically and meticulously attach the design onto the football. You don't want it to look like a sticker. You want it to look like something that's being applied to a football with, with precision. And then rubs and warms the ball to keep it smooth. So we make sure that nothing's gonna come off of there when they hand it to the wonderful people. If he makes it look easy, it's because he has plenty of practice. Probably about 3,000 by now. Neil has been designing custom balls since the team moved to Nashville. With Nair and George and Bruce Matthews. Including taking a football that Eddie George scored with in Super Bowl 34 and turning it into this. Being a part of that part of history is, is, is kind of cool. It's kind of a feather in the cap, if you will. An honor for any professional, but it's the thrill of a lifetime for this Titans fan. Until COVID, I hadn't missed a home game. I've always been to every home game at the stadium. Which is why he's excited for this weekend's game. This is, this is pretty fun, this is pretty cool but even more so for an extra busy Monday morning. I'm hoping that we're just covered in paint and footballs and we have no idea uh, how we're gonna get them done. I really do, it'd be a wonderful problem to have. Wonderful problem indeed. If you're keeping score at home, that's 108 footballs on standby, ready to go if the Titans have a victory Monday. By the way, Neil is officially in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, or at least three of his footballs are. They have one for Bruce Matthews and two for the late kicker Rob Baronis in Canton that he made, which is pretty cool.